I grew up in the Washington neighborhood. I literally lived two blocks away from where my art box is. Once I saw the location, I kind of got like a little bit excited that I was going to be doing something in the community that kind of raised me. And I thought back when I was younger, oh, what would I kind of want to see? So I took the route of, you know, having, you know, children of color, just things that really um, speak to the, that area and, the, and that community. And I feel like the artwork kind of ties into the Washington area because it's bright, it's vibrant. It shows that community. I feel like that's something that the community kind of needs, a little bit of representation. In order for a community to be successful, everyone has to be together, correct? Everyone kind of has to be on the same page. I feel like people can be on the same page if they have something to work toward. And in that aspect, I chose the tree because the tree is something that is beneficial for any human being. It gives us life. Um, we, the oxygen that it gives off we need in order to survive. It gives off fruit that we're able to eat from. It gives off shade, protection. That's something that every community needs. We need a breathing space. We need something that we can harvest and bask from to nourish us and we need protection. And the tree is deep rooted to the earth, deep rooted to the ground, which is what a community should be, kind of like a family. The children, one is watering and one is picking. So if we as a community come together to take care of our space, it will grow. And then at the end of the day, we will have something that we can live off of and pass down, which is the fruit that the child is picking. Also in the tree, there's words of love, hope, um, unity, equality, things of that nature. That's also something that we all need in order to make any sort of change or to come together. So that kind of breaks down that aspect. The brightness of the colors, there's bright blues, almost every color of the rainbow is in the painting. And that's also because we do live in a metropolitan area and that is a metro area, it's heavy traffic on Pacific, so it grasps your attention. Most of my artwork, if you see it, it is kind of cartoon-ish. The girls have really big puffy hair. Um, a lot of them have no eyes. And the reason why I don't really put a full face on there is because um, the eyes tell a lot. So if they're not there, you can make your own assumption of the person or of the, the being or whatever it is. My artwork go straight to black women. Um, I feel like in the media, almost everywhere, we're not really represented in the best way. Um, and there's so many stigmas about black women. So in my art, majority of it is the black female. That's just so that we can be seen a little bit more and in a different light. I'm really proud of my little box. And I've never done really like much murals at all, honestly. I solely go to canvas or a piece of paper and do my artwork. So this was my first time doing something as, as large as the utility box. And with such high traffic, that's, that's gonna see it. I really, 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 really want to start doing larger projects and murals like that. Um, this kind of opened my eyes to see my potential in the things that I can do. And I definitely want to get onto bigger campuses, like maybe the side of a building or something, most definitely. What I do notice is art really does something to people even if you're not an artist. Once you put something on that canvas, you just fall in love with it. 